2018 is here. We saw the first major dust storm of the year yesterday when this huge cloud engulfed much of the valley. It's a good reminder of how dangerous the monsoon season can be. As the storms progress this summer, we're sure to see more damage and more power outages. So how are SRP and APS prepping for the next big storm? 12 News meteorologist Lindsay Riley got a behind the scenes look at how APS stays ahead of the storm and how they plan on getting customers back online when the lights go out. In a large windowless room in central Phoenix, a dedicated group of APS Power Rangers make sure the lights stay on across Arizona. Close the switch, energizing back to that VSC 1020. We sit on an open hole uh, waiting for a to He was called out at midnight. 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, they scan the maps that cover the walls looking for trouble. They come up with the best way to reroute power and get power restored to customers uh, as safely and efficiently as possible. Head of the Distribution Operations Center, Michael Cole, says things are generally pretty calm in here. But when things start brewing outside... Michael says his people kind of kick into high gear and start working really hard to get people's power on as fast as possible. During a large power outage, uh, I think you just sent back from Mojave Lane. <sighs> Temp cut out at VTP 1201 and V 7046. APS will prioritize calls. First and foremost, we take police and fire calls. So if if we've got first responders that have emergency locations that we need to respond to, that's first. Then we prioritize by things like hospitals, key accounts, and then we'll work down to our residential customers and, and the rest of the distribution system that we restore. Their grid maps only give one dimension of a storm, so they also keep a close eye on the weather radar for a bigger picture. As those storms roll in and, and we get microbursts coming off of the thunderclouds, that's when we really tend to get some of the damage that, that blows down lines and poles. According to APS, the average length of an outage across their system is about an hour and 20 minutes. So I asked Michael why maybe one house gets their power back on and someone across the street is still in the dark. How does that happen? So that's a good question. Really a lot of it revolves around um, system constraints. It just depends on where it is, where it starts, and what devices that we can switch around it with are. And now is the time to get your emergency preparedness kit together or restock the one from last year. Remember, it's a good idea to have non-perishable food, plenty of water, a flashlight with spare batteries, a radio, and a phone charger that you can plug into your car in case a storm hits.